Okay. My plan is to paint these uh, and do tutorials for different sections. So in this one we're going to be doing the, the swords. Um, other ones are going to be in the, uh, the video, the armor, maybe the hair. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. So to start off, um, we're going to be doing a non-metallic metal um, technique on the swords and I'm using the scale 75 paints so I'll get them ready on the palette and I'll show you what I've got. Okay so there's four tones. I've got this one here which is arctic blue as a really cold light blue. Um, your mid tone is this one I think it's bearing blue. This one's caspian blue. I mean, just dry my brush off. It's Caspian blue is like a desaturated, um, lovely colour. And then we've got the last one is Abyssal blue, really dark desaturated blue, perfect for non metallic metals. So um, that's what we're going to use. I'll just get the bottles out, um, try and get them in order first. To show you. Okay, so you can see the Arctic, Bering, Caspian, and Abyssal. Lovely colours. So let's get started. So, as you can see, I've given it a base coat of the Bering Blue. Um, that's at least three coats there. Just keep it nice and thin. I think that one needs. Another coat actually. It looks a bit patchy there. So I'll just saw that out. Um, what I've done, I've added instead of just plain water, I've added a little bit of glaze medium into the water beforehand, and I keep that in a bottle, a dropper bottle, um, separate. It's almost run out now actually. But that is about up to their water and then the rest is glazed medium um, so it's about I don't know about four parts water one part glazed medium and um, it's good for getting nice and smooth paint good for blending stuff like that so um, we'll start on this side here so I'm going for a highlight uh, on the outer side of the blade because we've got a like a split section that's a bit of a chamfer on the edge there so I'll do light there dark down the bottom um, light down here dark at the top so the next color we're using is the Caspian blue um, we'll start from about there as I said this is nice and thin I'll just feather that off at the top there. Remember we're going light at the top so I should have started about there really but once that's dry, which it is almost, we'll do a second coat but we'll start there. Do a third coat and we'll start further down again. So we've got a bit of a gradient going already. Um, just swap to the Arctic blue. Just want to check how thin it is first. Right, thin that down a bit. I'll uh, apply a highlight. Up the top. And I'll swap to the abyssal blue now. And we'll just put a shadow down the bottom here. So that's one coat. We'll build that up again like we did 
with the, the Caspian blue. Just wait for that to dry. Arctic blue again. That's not bad. So I'll just redefine that edge again with the base coat. So this is the bearing blue, just to tidy up that edge before we start. And while that's drying, I can afford to go back to the Arctic blue again up the top. See, I'm pulling the pigment up the sword. And a bristle blue down the bottom. And a feather it off from water. Right, make a bit of blast with the air dryer. So that's dry now. It's not looking that bad actually. So I've added a little bit of off white to the Arctic blue. And I'm just going to put a highlight up the top there. And feather it with water. So I'll start with the highlights down the bottom now. So I've got the Arctic blue. And I'll just pull the pigment down the way. I don't see anything there on the first one, so I'll leave that dry. I'm going to do a second one. And just water now to fell that off a bit. Blend it in. Got uh, Caspian blue now, and we'll head up the way. I'm just playing back and forth now. So, I've got Arctic blue, and I'll put another coat down the bottom. Once it's dry, you're okay to put another coat on. Um, another one of Caspian blue, but I'll start further up. Um, Abyssal blue, I've got the darker colour. Let's put another coat down here. So as you can see, it's just building up slowly. I'm going to give it another blast with a hairdryer just to make everything, make sure everything's dry, and then we'll carry on. Okay, so moving on to the uh, the mini me. We've got about halfway there now. So we got the bearing blue, the um, Arctic blue down the bottom and we got the Caspian blue up the top so we just need to uh, get some more Arctic blue going down the bottom 
and we'll lighten that up quite a bit more. I've already got a highlight going there, so that's good. So let's move over to this side. And down the bottom as well. This one's going to look a little awkward because of the, the guard there. It's actually raised up onto the blade, so we're going to have a... It's not going to look right however we do it, but we'll have a go. So I'll move on to the abyssal blue, the darkest blue. Get some in down here. And feather that one off. And up the top as well. So I'm going to go lighter with the, the Arctic blue. So I've added a bit of the off-white or the ivory to it. I think it was off-white, I think. Slipped off. I've got some off white, and I'll get those edge highlights going. Ah, mistake there. Let's try and get rid of that. Another wet brush. Let's hope it shifts. Uh, onto the back of the blades, I've started um, with the bearing blue and the Caspian blue. I'm going to do the same as on the other swords. Um, I'm going to highlight going right in the middle there. So let's get the 
Arctic blew up first. Pull the pigment in towards the middle of the highlight area. Same on this side. Let's wait for that one to dry. Now let's get the um, Caspian blue again to do another pass up here, just to darken it down a little bit. A bit of white to the Arctic blue now. Push that highlight in the middle. Come back to that. I just need to tidy up that edge there, I think. And I can redo that then. Um, so that's the basic process again, done. Um, be on to the guards next with the swords. So I've been working on the other side, I'm not quite there yet, but I thought we'd make a start on the, I can't remember what this bit is called down here. I've got Vallejo's English uniform, because uh, we're going to do a goldy colour. So I'll just block off the colour to start with. A bit too much water in this, but that's a good thing, it's not bad. It's better to have too much to start with than not enough. Um, I was going to finish off this sword. I haven't done the back yet, but I was going to do, well, the opposite side. I was going to do the back of the sword next. Um, using the same uh, same techniques as we were using on the front. But I want to put the highlight in the middle there because it gets confusing for me, <laughs> at least. Because yeah, we've got dark there, light there, then we change to the opposite, so dark there, light there. What happens in the middle here? Because you go in light, dark, dark, light. I cut in here, and if you carry on that, it, it doesn't match up. So I'm just going to do a highlight in the middle, dark down here, dark up there. So we've got the bearing blue on there. 
So I'll get the Caspian blue next and we'll just put a highlight there. Start the shadow going down the way and then going up the way. So the middle third we haven't touched. And I've got the abyssal blue. So I'm going to push that up into the tip. I'm going to push it down into the bottom. Take a couple of coats, but you know that from what we're doing at the front. So I've got Arctic blue now. So I'll start from there and I'll pull the highlight towards the middle. Start from there, pull it towards the middle. I think the abyssal blue is dry so we can put another coat in down here, up there. Let's feather that off a bit because it's a bit stark. So let's wait for that bit to dry before we go in with another coat. not to have too much on your brush either otherwise you'll just get a dollop right in the middle which is starting to form <laughs> so I just wait for that to dry and make a start on the other side so I've got the Caspian blue Down here. I think this one's slightly darker on the back of the sword, so I might have to put some bearing blue in the middle. Yeah. Uh, because we've got that glaze medium, paint is still dry. Let's go slightly over the top there. We should get a blend straight away. Um, so I'm all bearing blue. This side is dry so I'll go back to the arctic blue. Sorry if this is confusing you but it's, it's the way I work. I just wait for areas to dry and just work on other areas that we're using the same colours on. I'll leave a highlight right in the middle. And I'll start on the Arctic blue on this side. some water there, fill it right off. Dark blue, abyssal blue. Hopefully you're getting the idea now. Arctic blue again. Good thing is if you make a mistake you can just go you know, if you make a mistake with the arctic blue you can just go down to the the bearing blue and just go over it and start again but it's just a case of building things up and i've got the abyssal blue Um, 
This is Arctic blue with a bit of white in it. I think once the edge highlight goes on, I think we're nearly there. So I'll just get like a, an off white mix with the, the Arctic blue I'm using the side of my brush. I'm going to do the same for the front of the sword, you know, with a, have a highlight right in the middle because there is like a flat edge at the front, up bit there. And I think if I do light there and then dark at the, the top and bottom, it shouldn't look too well. I'm not going to go as dark as that, I'll probably just go as far as the, the Caspian blue top and bottom. Um, but I think we're getting there. Um, I'll just go back to the, the highlight of the Arctic blue and white again. Uh, fill that off with water. Push the pigment in the middle. Um, there's not that much more to show you really until I, I'll, I'll complete the sword and then uh, I'll show you what the whole thing looks like. Um, but that's the blade done. Uh, well, I can't, I can't show you any more on the blade. Well, that's what I'm trying to say. I'll be using the same techniques all the way around the sword. So um, I'll, once I get all that done, we'll then carry on with this bit here. But I'll put another coat on of the, the English uniform before it disappear for now. And we can come back for the next stage. I'm uh, fairly happy. It looks quite good on the sections that we've done. So yeah, I'll come back to the next stage. So we're going to do the the base of the sword, uh, scabbard maybe, I'm not sure what it's called, <laughs> sorry. Um, so I've got English uniform, that's what we've used for the base coat. I've got uh, armour brown and ivory and I'm going to make a 50-50 mix in between as well, just in case I need them. So let's start off with... Um, well, we'll sketch out where the highlights are going to be first. So I've got the 50-50 mix of the uniform and ivory first. And I'm thinking this is going to be tricky because I've got quite a few places for reflection. So I'll put on this side on that side. Same here. And there. And I 
as we were doing before, the annoying bit, probably, <laughs> is putting the shadows in. So I'll push the pigment towards the end here. And again, we're going to build that up. I think it'd be better if I just concentrate on one sword first. Stop me switching around and annoying everybody. And I'll put a little shadow in there as well. So back to the highlight. brown again just going to bring back the English uniform either side of that armour brown. And then we'll work on the highlight again. So I'm adding a bit more ivory to that 50-50 mix. I'm working on that highlight there. Working in smaller areas again. And back to the armor brown again. difficult to see because the lights are so harsh <laughs> it's um, really hard to see if this pigment is going down or not I'm not sure it is um, so back to the highlight with the extra um, ivory in it And this is the just the fifty fifty English uniform and ivory. I'm just gonna put a line across the top here. Catch that edge there, and then back in with the armor brown in between there. Let's try and push. 
push the contrast there. Tiny bit of ivory, just ivory on its own here. Just put a spot down the bottom. Uh, spot it. And I'm just going to leave it as, as that because it's only a small area. You don't want to go all out. As long as you've got a little bit of contrast there, it'll look, uh, it'll look pretty good. Um, so I'm going to carry on and do that side. Um, but I think that's it. Uh, well, I'm going to do an edge highlight on there as well. Let me do an edge highlight while we're here. I'm at a totally wrong angle to even attempt this, but <laughs> we'll give it a go. Nearly, nearly got it. So I'm going to carry on anyway. And um, yeah, I think we'll leave it there for now. Sorry, I'm waffling. So just to finish off, I had some off white still on my palette from you know when we were doing the the swords i just put a little dot right on the edge or the bottom edge and another one that side as well and then just reinforce the the edges with the the ivory again um so that's it for the swords i think we're done there um quite happy so we'll leave it there for this episode and um, we'll probably do the, the leather stuff, you know, like the boots and the gloves in the next one. So hopefully we'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.